Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing amazing today. Today is Friday, the 21st of February, and I'm coming to you today with a medical astrology insight into Pisces season. Um, yeah, so that way you can, you know, be more aware of what's going on and what's being illuminated in your body right now. Now, this is very general right looking at the general chart of the stars and the planets currently ongoing right now so the sun entered into pisces as of the 19th of february and pisces um if you know a pisces you probably know that they love foot massages <laughs> um rightfully so as this is this body part is ruled by pisces um, and another body part or system rather that's highlighted with or influenced by Pisces is the lymphatic system and the lymphatic system. I have talked about it before in a previous, uh, medical astrology video. Um, but to generally summarize, you know, the lymphatic system is known as the quote unquote sewage system of the body, but it does so, <laughs> it does so much more for us and is intertwined with other systems such as the immune system our digestive system and others as well and so the lymphatic system it does help filter out toxins within the body and it also is in charge of really helping to establish the foundation of the immune system uh, via, you know, the production and transportation of lymphocytes um, that happen, you know, within the thymus and then, you know, transporting it throughout the body and then filtering them out through the little, the lymphatic nodes. Now, whenever Pisces is imbalanced, um, the lymphatic system will be triggered a lot. Of course, there will also be pain in the feet but the lymphatic system will be triggered. So this is where you see swelling in different sites of the lymph nodes. Now the lymph nodes are in various, various parts of the body. Um, a lot of them are accumulated in clusters uh, within, you know, excretory parts of the body. So the armpit area and the groin area, as well as the nasal area, have a large concentration of uh, lymph nodes. Now, these lymph nodes, you can imagine them as um, they're like these little balls. They're fibrous in nature. And because of this fibrous nature, it acts like a sieve. So it sieves out it has like one valve systems so it sieves out um toxins that need to be filtered throughout the body so that way it comes in one way and then it goes to its designated areas according to its you know um other you know how it how the body <laughs> uh inputs what's coming in it comes out a certain way if that makes sense now as of the 16th you might have seen this online i know i did <laughs> um on social media the fact that mars entered capricorn now in regards to the body um this is really where breath work is important because mars according to medical astrology mars um is also influenced by the sun because it's closely is in close uh, proximity with the sun so it's pertains to our physical energy and blood flow and it's really concentrated in the head area as well and it also contributes to bone marrow which interestingly enough um, the immune system and the lymphatic system the bone marrow is also very important because that's where lymphs are also distributed um, in the body so with that aspect mars entering into capricorn which is that it's that's his home planet mars so it's just emphasized um with mars being there so integrating breath work will really help especially if you are imbalanced and you need a little bit of a boost um breath work will help in regards to blood flow and moving oxygen throughout the body 
Now, I'll talk more about um, herbs that you can integrate for Pisces season. I do want to highlight Targon, um, mainly because when Mars entered Capricorn that night, I had a dream about Targon, and it's, um, it's stimulating in nature which is beneficial, especially for Pisces season, depending on your body's temperament. But generally, it's very restorative. Um, yeah, so Targon would be a nice one to add in there. And it's lovely to look at, too. It's very easy to grow. But I'll talk more, I'll talk more about herbs later on in this video. Now, I also want to highlight um, Mercury. Now, Mercury, there's a lot, looking at the chart, um, there's a lot of Mercury action going on, especially in regards to the Sun. Now, the Sun will be conjunct Mercury upcoming in the next five days on the 26th. And Mercury, in regards to medical astrology, governs the, um, the nasal airways. So, the nasal airways, the throat, the larynx, and your voice. So, on a physical aspect, now, when this is irritated... Um, you might have excess mucus, right? And Mercury, and since we are in Pisces season, now Pisces, the temperament of Pisces is, um, is damp and warm, or cold, excuse me. It's damp and cold. So knowing this, the temperament, um, intertwines with Mercury and its, uh, body, what body parts that it's, it rules so in these areas of the body the nasal passageways um, you may experience uh, excess mucus or sensitivity to your environment and knowing this um, and you know during this time of the year as well this is when a lot of people tend to react to the change of seasons right we see a lot of sneezing or here <laughs> um, sneezing coughing the general cold and influenza that goes around so knowing this and being aware of this uh, temperament of Pisces and Mercury and then you can also integrate knowing your own temperament you can integrate certain plants to um, sort of mitigate those effects of the cosmos and the elements intertwined together so, yes, let's talk about plants. So, what can you do? So, knowing about... So, talk, let's go back to the temperament of Pisces. Now, being cold and damp, you would want the opposite, right? Generally speaking, uh, to mitigate those effects. So, you would want dry and cool herbs. Sometimes stimulating, depending... This all depends on your body, right? Right? So stimulating to a degree, um, not necessarily caffeine per se, but stimulating in the sense of um, energizing your chi and giving you energy, but not to the point where you're jittery. So that includes um, maca and even adaptogens like ashwagandha could really, really be beneficial for that purpose. Now, in regards to the body and the lymph in general, um, herbs and plants that are mineral dense are your best friends and most of these you can find in your relatively in your yard and your outdoor space depending on where you are now I would caution I have talked about this in pod in a podcast episode now if you do live in an urban area I would suggest to not pick <laughs> like wildly growing dandelion or chickweed because of the pollution that's readily available in the air however if you're in a wild area go ahead and pick <laughs> depend you know once you have asked and established a relationship with the plant now other mineral dense plants that you can integrate during this time that correlate to the lymphatic system oh and i forgot to mention jupiter as well um, Pisces also co-rules with Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is a very, um, vibrant <laughs> planet, right? It's big. And because of this big in essence, it really just illuminates anything, um, in any aspect. So either normal, usually it's in an optimistic way. Um, and then depending on the aspects that it's in, it could be the opposite. 
Um, so, and Jupiter oversees the liver as well. So choosing mineral dense herb that pertain to these body parts will be beneficial. So those include plants like bladder rack, Irish sea moss, anything that's very, that comes from the sea, right? Um, Irish sea moss, kelp, uh, even seaweed in general, integrating that into your diet will help. Now, and because uh, Pisces and the lymphatic system is an eliminatory, um, it's an eliminatory process, integrating minerals will help that detoxification, you know, help your body's natural detoxification process. Now, Another aspect of Pisces, Pisces tend to get the rap for being um, dreamy, <laughs> kind of out there and in the astrals. And because of this, some people may um, drift in their sleep state. Um, and because of this, depending on how intensely you are drifting or intentionally, um, this is a great time to integrate protective herbs into your routines. That way you're drifting to places and you're protective, you're protected enter energetically, if that makes sense, right? So those include herbs like passion flower, lavender, mugwort, and even targon, as I mentioned earlier, targon also um, is included in that aspect. All right, and that really, that concludes this video. I would suggest um, if you are sensitive to the outdoor elements, um, exposure does help in regards to boosting and building your immune system. Um, make sure you're changing your air filters. That's very important. And if you're in an area where those things tend to be forgotten, like schools and hospitals and other public areas. Uh, being aware of this, uh, you can mitigate those effects by just being outside more often. So going on walks, um, being outside in general, you know, taking your lunch break outside could be a good change for not only scenery, but for your health. All right, I hope this information helps in any way. Let me know in the comment section um, any herbs that you are gravitating to at this time in Pisces season. Thank you so much for listening and tuning in. I will check you guys in a, another video. Ciao for now.